Hello there all of you possum people, it's me Grand Pan here. Welcome back to my Wiz 101 balance walkthrough. Now if you guys don't remember last time, uh we we got two out of three spirits apiece. Or four. I think we got a piece that um that 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 Grimhild uh, Iron Spirit bear ghost thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, first off, I need to find out what's been causing my... What in the world? And whatever, I'm sure it'll... It'll be fixed up soon enough, I hope. Really, I hope it does. <laughs> um... I just wanted to record an episode early today because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I have to be somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and and I was too scared to do the boss fight last time because I was afraid I would lose it alone. And I feel like I would have recorded that boss fight for nothing. So so now we're doing it with someone finally. But hey, this could be a Valentine's Day special, sort of. I mean, we got like a Valentine's Day pet. Wait, is that a Valentine's pet? I have no idea. There's a lot of new things for Valentine's this year in this game. Really? Are you kidding me? You really gotta... You really got to... to Power Nova at the first start of the battle? My god. This is why I hate battling Black Shields and Royal Guards and... and Papyrus. Or Undyne. <laughs> do I make those jokes too often? I apologize if I do. Okay, that thing looks like it has to be a Valentine's Day pet. I don't know if it does. Bat or fly? Oh. Yeah, I don't need sandstorm. At least not right now. Okay, I'll put a faint right there. There we go. Okay, gonna put a balance shield on her. There we go. Don't don't use too much that empowerment.
Oh! I mean, that's fine also. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna heal her before this gets any more nasty. Yeah, you can hit. Okay, that got him. Whoa. Okay, and I think I'm gonna Shadow Strike and then Judgment. I think that's it. Here we go. Oh god. Oh well. Wait a minute, she's not gonna get credit for that! Why did she flee?
Yeah, so you pretty much screwed yourself up. I remember... I remember back in AWS when, um... When I was fighting that... What was Lindsay fighting? Some weird, weird worm bug thing. Back in Mirage and... And she wasn't credited for that, so she had to fight the boss again. help you <laughs> because basically I'm recording this series and it will be done if I uh, help you. I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> it just has to be done okay go. <laughs> okay, I think this takes us back to Yadula or whatever the heck his name is. I'm pretty sure he's from Krakatopia somehow. Basically because he's a mander. <laughs> the Sakara bird. Ah, she led us on some exciting adventures. I'm the last of the crew you visited. You've spoken to Grimhilde, Ugar, Cosmos, and me? Almost then. Almost. Return to Captain Coleridge and tell him he no longer burns like a hot ember in my mind. I no longer care about the past. Okay. And uh, since we are kind of near Crescent Beach, we should probably just head back there normally. Hey, Zerazinia. Wait a minute. How are you right there? <laughs> she was supposed to be with Taylor, and now she's right back there. Here we go. It, you're right back here. How the heck did you? Yeah. Well, wait a sec. I'm starting to think how you got to the hive. <laughs> the many crew so beautiful, and they all dead did lie, and a thousand slimy things lived on, and so did I. Speak to the spirit of Crescent Beach. See if you've done enough to quell the fire in Grimhilda's heart. No, we still got to appease her. <laughs> Outlander, you return to me again. What news do you bring? You have found and given solace to the navigator Cosmos and the quartermaster Yadula. <laughs> By the Ice Titan Sons, remarkable! There is but one more member of our ill fated crew to find and mollify. But she is a frozen hearted backbiter! She also happens to be my sister, Gunhilda <laughs> Ironspear. Gunhilda is trapped within the den of a voracious ant lion trapper. Wizard, I do not ask this lightly. For my sister and I had a great gulf between us in life, which has only deepened in death. But you will do me a great honor if you retrieve her lost shield from within the beast's den and free her spear. Okay, so she's basically down at Crystal Beach. So we gotta we gotta find the
Yeah, it's right up here. Okay, I thought it was down there. I always think it's down there for some reason. Wait a minute, what's right here? I have not seen this before. What in the world? Since when was this here? When? Okay, this probably leads to a side quest or something. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Okay, I did not know that that was right there. Okay, no one's teaming up. Okay, I'm going in by myself then, I guess. Or I go out and look for dinner. Yeah. Right. You are weird. the snow angel again. Oh boy. How much is that gonna do? Yeah, there we go. All right, now I'm going to see a storm. <laughs> As ice bosses always do, they always seem to taunt. Give me in the 
against you. Okay. An outlander come to steal my shield for your treasure trove? <laughs> Not a thief? A messenger from my sister? Worse then, I'd prefer a thief. At least then you might have a shred of honor. I spit on you and my sister Grimhilda. That wasn't very pleasant. Still, you should probably retrieve the lost shield and bring it to Grimhilda. Okay, whoa. Who? What? Outlander, you have Grimhilda's shield! <laughs> For a wizard, you have the courage of a bear! I'm only sorry you had to encounter my sister. Of course, now I'm stuck with her for eternity. You have done us all a good turn, wizard. You fought with valor and courage, and you helped those who needed it unselfishly. Tell Captain Colbridge I'll leave him well enough alone. I have not forgotten his deeds, but I forgive him, at least a little. I will haunt his dreams no longer. Okay. And you ghosts have a good day. You better. <laughs> what message do you bring from the spirits, wizard? They will haunt me no more? Oh, happy spirit things, no tongue their beauty might declare. A spring of love gushed from my heart, and I blessed them unaware. Tis like a great weight, like some kind of winged snake, or giant flying lizard, or gliding squirrel, has fallen from me neck. Tell me, wizard, what can old Captain Coleridge do for you? You wish to sail the Starfall Sea? Sheer lunacy! <laughs> the maelstrom will flay your flesh, and the deep spawn will suck the marrow from your bones. It can't be done. But perhaps there might be one way. A way as dangerous as the sea itself. To summon and ride the great beast! First is first. We need to craft a diving bell. Raid the docks for a boat of goat weaver silk. You'll find it in a guarded tent. Okay. Uh, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Right now, thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy this episode, why not be a awesome person by high-fiving that like button. And I'll see all of you awesome people in the next video.